Hey guys, welcome to episode number two of Getting Started with the MPVI 2 Plus. In this video, we'll be discussing how to read. That means understanding the VCM editor and the scanner in this phase of tuning. So let's get started. All right, so let's talk about what read really means. Now, in the VCM editor and the scanner, they're slightly different, but they're doing very similar things. So with the VCM editor, let's go ahead on over to it. What this means is it allows us to download the tune file out from the vehicle. Now, we didn't really discuss a lot of this last time because we hadn't gotten quite this far, but there's a couple things you wanna do first for your first read. So when you go into the VCM editor, you're gonna to wanna to go over to the help screen and if this is your first time ever using your MPVI 2 Plus or even an MPVI 2, you'll wanna go through the process of using the verification code just so that you can uh, actually start using the system properly and using credits. Once you've gone through that process, you can use this resync feature and we can go through it real quickly. We've said resync, everything is talking right now. It spoke to the HP Tuner's um, system and said everything is synchronized and we're ready to go. Now that just makes sure it resyncs any credits you may have purchased, uh, and just now you know everything's ready for download and, and use, okay? So it's just good practice on your first go around here. And also if you buy credits in the future, you'll wanna resync after you buy your credits. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the sequence with our key. So our key is currently off on our challenger. We're going to accessory and we're going to on. Now it's important not to jump the gun here, okay guys? We're gonna let the car wake up, let the systems all come online, and after about 10, 15 seconds, you can go ahead and start your download, and I generally will wait till the car starts beeping at me. <laughs> okay, now I think it's finally done beeping at me. We're gonna go ahead and hit read vehicle. Now you have two options that pop up here when you are ready to download the file from the vehicle. You have read and gather. Now you can use gather. Gather will tell you what it's talking to. And so I've clicked on gather, and it's come back and it said, hey, you're connected to a 2019 Challenger RT 392 64, basically just to verify what you're working with. And also it tells you what's available for download. Now, if you've been doing tuning for some time, you'll notice it only sees the ECM here because you see the GPEC 2A ECM, but you don't see a TCM or transmission control module. And that's because we're working with a manual transmission car today. So we now have some options, read entire, do not read. And so let's go through the process of reading the file out of this challenger. We'll do that by clicking on read. And then the sequence will begin here. Now it's important, you do not want to interrupt this process. You'll hear some beeping, you'll see gauges going a little crazy. That's perfectly normal, just let it do its, let it do its thing. Now, one thing also to remember here is you must be connected wirelessly through Wi-Fi so that uh, as you start the download process, it will try and contact the HP Tuner server to verify that everything is good to download this file. Uh, and ours went through just fine and it's in the download process. Now. Some things to notice here. The download process is always longer than the upload process. The download process is going to take on this vehicle about nine, maybe 10 minutes, not terribly long, in which case you can put the laptop down, leave everything just as it sits, and you can go do something else and come back in eight or 10 minutes and have a look at it. Or if this is your first time and you're kind of concerned, you can absolutely just sit here and watch it for the next you know, eight or so minutes. So. We're gonna go ahead and fast forward through this download sequence so we can get to the next part in our video. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, the file has downloaded, but there's a couple additional steps to take. Okay, so it says, turn the ignition off, wait 10 seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. no, just gotta wait. Patience, gotta be patient. All right, it's been about 10 seconds, then we're gonna turn the ignition on and we're gonna click OK. And that basically resets everything and gets it back to normal. Now, it's going to bring us to a folder. I suggest you pick one common folder. I've made one here called 2019 Challenger Scat Pack. Keep all of your like files in one place for each vehicle. So each vehicle gets a folder. In this case, I'm gonna call this download uh, 922. 21. Okay, and the reason I've done that is I have some identifier of what this file was. Also, we highly recommend that if this is your stock file, you call it stock download, and then also make a backup copy of that file so you don't accidentally overwrite it in the future. 
Okay, so this just happens to be the download of the file that was in the vehicle. And so I'm going to go ahead and save it. And now the process of uh, reading out that file is complete. And we are now ready to start the, pro the actual uh, next step in the phase, which would be to make tuning changes and editing changes. We're not going to do that just yet. That's going to be in the future video. But I'm going to give you an overview of the editor since we're here. So we've downloaded the file and we're about to do a little what I call reading. We're going to see what's currently in the vehicle. So sometimes you might be downloading a file from a modified vehicle and you might want to see kind of what's going on already and poke around a little bit. So we'll have a look at Spark Advance. This happens to be a supercharged vehicle. And so we can see whoever tuned this vehicle last during one of our live seminars where they kind of left everything. We use this vehicle for student learning quite a bit. And so in the Dodge, we'll just go through and have a quick look at the Watt base file. Here we go, table. And you know, a part of the reading process, like I said, is learning to see what's already there. And so here we have whatever the last set of students left in, which was anything over the boost area, which is cylinder air mass of one or higher, let's say here, at full throttle. And this is based on RPM. Here's your spark advance. So five, six, seven, eight. 11, 12. So this is what I would call a good safe spark advance curve for this particular vehicle, uh, especially in the hot Florida summer months. So with the um, Pro, Pro Charger D1X, that's what this tends to like. So understanding guys, reading in the VCM editor is all about understanding what it has to tell you. Now that does not mean you're gonna watch this video and go become a super tuner. You probably should take a couple of our courses to learn how to tune the particular type of vehicle you want. We go through a lot of this in particular tuning processes based on bolt-ons, heads cam, forced induction, and things like that that you have on your vehicle. So you'll learn a safe, repeatable process to tune with but understanding that the editor is set up in segments. So engine type parameters and tables are based here. Engine diagnostics are over here. Transmission, fuel, and system. So things like fan system changes, you can make adjustments very easily to. And just understanding where things are set now, I can get a good idea of what the vehicle is currently set up with. So real quick, I could say, well, uh, this probably has a stock thermostat. How do we know? Well, I can read this and say, well, the low speed coolant temp turn on is going to be 205 degrees. They probably didn't put a 180 in this. Very simple stuff. So reading from the editor, guys, this is all it really takes. And we'll give you one last piece of advice or information on the editor before we move to reading through the scanner, which is going to be looking under the edit menu and then calibration details. And I'm bringing this up because we often find that people ask for tech support and they don't know what they're working with. And so oftentimes it's nice to be able to look and see what I have. Working with a 19 Challenger and the controller is a GPEC 2A. These are just good things to know as you go. So now you understand a little bit about how the VCM editor works and reads. Let's go work with the VCM scanner. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to file and close. I'm gonna close that file out and I'm gonna go to the VCM scanner. I'm gonna double click on the VCM scanner and we're gonna to start to learn a little bit about reading the data, which actually, guys, is way more important than anything else, is understanding what's coming at you, what's currently going on with the vehicle. Okay, so now that we have the VCM scanner open, we can learn a little bit about this by connecting, and so we'll go ahead and cycle the key. Okay, we'll connect to the vehicle. So currently it's talking to the ECM and saying, what do you have to show me? What are your parameters? It's going through them all now. And of those parameters, the ones that will be displayed are the ones here in the channels list. And that's the important thing to understand about reading in the VCM scanner, guys, is that everything that you want to learn about needs to be a channel here in the channels list. Everything else in the VCM scanner, such as the charts, or the graphs or the gauges, those are all based off data that comes from the channels list. So when we get tech support ticket guys, guys and you all are working on your cars and you send us scan files, a lot of times the first thing we kick back to you is, hey, please use this channels list that we provide with your course. Why do we do that? Because we need the appropriate information for you to gather so we can see what's going on. Now let's just go ahead and uh, we've connected, so let's start scanning. Now the vehicle is off, but the key's on. You can see some data is live here. And so we're now understanding engine RPM, vehicle speed. It's currently 84 degrees here in Tampa. It's nice and hot. And now you get to learn a little bit more about the vehicle. Now, uh, sometimes people will do incredible modifications. Like this vehicle has a two bar map sensor, a supercharger and all sorts of things. And people will say, what's wrong with my tune? It runs terribly. And a lot of the times we go, let's look at your scan 
but don't even start it yet, okay? Learning to read what's being told to you is super important because oftentimes people don't configure their sensors properly, which we do work you through in the courses, but sometimes people miss a step and it's an easy thing to see. Like map sensor, this is good. It's reading 96 kPa here, key on, engine off, which is just atmospheric pressure. If we had, we had done this check, maybe helping one of you guys in the tech support system, and it read 50 kPa or 150 kPa, we would know this car would run absolutely terribly because it's not calibrated properly, that sensor, which is a critical sensor. So, things to remember about the VCM scanner, guys. This is the most important thing that you have. It'll tell you everything you wanna know about your vehicle. It'll tell you spark advance. It'll tell you fueling. Uh, when your wideband is connected up through here, you can see that as well, okay? So understanding VCM scanner data is probably the single most important thing that you could do before you jump right into tuning in the VCM editor. Hey guys, that concludes our video on how to read using the new MPVI 2 Plus. Be sure to follow us on social media so you see when the next video is gonna drop about how to edit with the new MPVI 2 Plus. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Hey guys, welcome to episode number two in the getting to know how you love and hate the MPVI 2 Plus because I can't remember what it's called. Episode number two in our series of how to use the, is it how to use, did I get that right? Thanks for watching. Be sure you pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. <laughs>